guys, I'm Nikki, welcome to my channel and we have another stationary haul, I bet you guys didn't see that one coming, well bam, here it is. I'm joined here with Lottie, my favourite little puppy, she's a good girl, and I've got a lot of cool things that I'm going to show you, so without further ado, let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna begin on a pretty high note and show you this pack of depressed pencils. This is my favourite thing in the whole entire haul, these were $4.99 from Waterstones. And I believe it just says shop and blunt at the back. And there are six pencils with different depressing catchphrases on them, such as I'm easily broken. You're just going to write me off. You wear me down and in time I will be pointless. This is truly iconic. I use humor as my defense mechanism, so you just gotta laugh it off. Let's just be real. I absolutely love these. They're ridiculous, they're funny. They are pretty expensive for a pack of pencils, but to be honest, I just couldn't leave them there. I know they would be gone by the time I come back, so I decided to pick up a pack. And honestly, I really do love them. Anyway, moving on, I'm just gonna show you some of the notebooks I got. And you know this year, I've really gone downtown with notebooks, but to be honest, I do do a lot of writing and use them up so quickly. I can go through too many per year. First of all is this one, and this is kind of a squishy corkboard style notebook, and this is from Wilco's. Wilco's has the best stationery all year round, every single year, and they have so many different themes that you can choose from. You can find whatever you're looking for, uh, like just depending on what you like. I decided to get this one, and this is four pounds. There are 80 sheets inside, and it basically just has this plain green inside with all of these plain lined pages. I really like the cover because it's so unusual, it uh, of course feels like cork but then really squishy and unusual and it also has a lot of this glimmery gold which I think is very pretty. Nothing much else I can say but then I also decided to pick up this little notebook and this is wonderful. I absolutely love the whole theme, I adore plants. I would like to hoard plants in the future. I had to get it, it says notes in gold. The pages are generally quite wide ruled and then also have a little place for you to write the date. This was £1.50 and it's just paperback. Quite simplistic but very essential. Next I just had to pick these up. It's not too interesting but I picked up these three squared paper pads and they're all A4. I absolutely love these. I take my notes on them. If you've seen my how I take notes video you'll know exactly how I do that and I'm also planning on remaking that video once I settle into college so you can see my updated version soon. And yeah, I do write all of my notes on squared paper. I find it much easier to keep things neat and organized. Also regulates my handwriting. And I used to get them from my local post office, but these were one pound each, and that is practically half the price of what they sell them as in the post office. And that was the cheapest place I could get them from. So I decided to pick up three pads because I go through them like nobody's business. And now for the reason that I actually went shopping. I decided to get this cork board, and this was £3, exactly what I was looking for. It is relatively small, but just the right size for me, in my opinion. It is 30 by 40 centimeters and just perfectly essential. I love to pin pictures and also loads of notes, anything I need to refer to on here, anything motivational, I absolutely love that. The best thing though, it has a little thing here, like some string and these hooks so you can attach it to your wall, and also things like this so you can put a nail in your wall and actually hang it on there so it's nice and safe. There's nothing much else I can say about this but it's perfectly essential and I'm planning on redecorating my room at the end of August, beginning of September, very very soon from the time I'm filming this. So this was something that I was really looking for and searching all over the place for and I'm wanting to incorporate into my study desk area. I was asked to do a desk tour but I don't have my desk yet and of course I haven't started redecorating. So once I do that and I order my desk and then it comes and then I've sorted everything out, made it look pretty, then I'll film something for you guys. Linking to that, I have things to go with my corkboard, and I also have these things called memo walls from Wilco's as well. And they're like these rectangular grids, and you just nail them to your wall, and then you can clip little notes and stuff on that. I have one of those, and I decided that I needed to get some of these things, such as little pins and these bulldog clips. I also do love to revise by making note pages and flashcards and sometimes when the subject or the topic is really really big 
I make so many and I can't fit them. I can't like, clip them with my normal bulldog clips, which are quite small. So I thought since these are very big, that'll do me very nicely. This was two pounds and in here they have loads of these big bulldog clips a ton of pins for cork boards and a lot of large paper clips. Really necessary stationary supplies for school, especially in my little study desk area. Additionally, I decided to get these binder clips. This pack was £1.50 and they include these two massive clips here. Now I've seen a lot of people use these in different ways and I've really wanted something like this. For example, when I'm making a bullet journal spread, I would like to clip the pages down so that the pages don't open up, you know, when you do that thing where you're trying to write and then the pages just go like whoosh. Or when you need to copy some notes from a revision guide, like I do when I'm taking notes, and then you just gotta clip the revision guide pages down. That's the main reason why I got them, but also they're very useful for just containing loads of notes in one place and making sure they're all safely together. Perfect, this is like all very gold themed. I see gold and green and usually I go for more copper stuff, but I really, really love these shiny metallic things. I decided to get these wooden pegs for my memo wall as well. And they're just simple little pegs like this, quite small. But again, as I said, I like pinning things to my memo wall, like pictures, just general notes. I think that'll be very fun. And they're £1.50 and inside they're 15 Now, this is another part of the reason why I went into Wilco's to go stationery shopping. And it was because I needed some washi tape. It was my friend's birthday and I decided to make them a gift. It was like a memory book. So I needed to tape loads of things like cinema tickets and photos to the book. And I thought I should get some washi tape so it looks all pretty and nice. I looked everywhere and nowhere had any washi tape apart from Wilco's and they had them in these lovely six tape rolls. So first of all, we have this dark green with a metallic leaf on it. Then we have this simplistic gold metallic washi tape. We have this white and dark navy blue checkered tape. And then this other tape that says your only limit is you. This half and half green and pink tape and then this one with llamas, which I feel is very ironic with my channel name. It's like, <laughs> it's perfect, it's meant to be. This pack was £2.50 and to be honest, they are perfect. They're absolutely great. I love the variety, loads of different sizes and it really did the job for what I was needing it to do. Nothing much else I can say, but I really love washi tape and I'm thinking of maybe incorporating it into some of my bullet journal spreads in the future. Speaking of tape, I did get this little tape dispenser from H&M. I was eyeing it up for a really, really long time. They always have the unicorn and the bunny every time I go in there. So when I saw that they reduced them from, what was it? £4.99 to £2, I thought this is my perfect opportunity. I'm just gonna take it out so the box doesn't shine back at the camera so you can actually see it. So here it is. It is this cute little unicorn tape dispenser. It is this glittery pink with this holographic pink tape inside. It only comes with one roll. However, you can just pull it apart in half then you can take out the tape and then replace it with some more and that's where I got this cello tape. I made sure that these on-hand refills would fit the unicorn and they do. So these two rolls, I can't remember how much they were. For the life of me, I can't remember how much these were and I don't know where the receipt is, but as always, everything is listed and linked in the description below so you guys can check everything out and if I forget any prices, they will be there for you. I'm not massively into unicorns. They did have a bunny and it was purple and glittery and especially with me dyeing my hair purple, it's kind of faded now. But I was just thinking I'd really like the bunny, but it was a bit top heavy. So if you would take the tape out, then it would just fall over and didn't really work. So I decided I should get the unicorn instead. And I don't know, I might paint it black. <laughs> I think that would be cool, just my black little unicorn on my desk. It's very cute and I need tape. And that was it for my stationery haul. Fairly quick. I'm quite surprised at how quick this video was. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below what your favorite stationery item from this video was. I look very forward to hearing from you guys. If you enjoyed the video, do give it a huge thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. I don't mind. I love your feedback. Subscribe to me if you want to see more from my channel. And also hit that bell to receive notifications to when I post a new video. Be in the notification squad when the video comes out. I respond to all of the comments and I read everyone. I honestly love reading your comments. But anyway, that's it from me. I hope you have a lovely day and good luck with back to school season. So I'll see you next time. Bye bye.